got my airplane uh aircraft paint stripper right there um i used that on the el camino and it worked good on top but on the side it was hard to kind of like pour it on the sides you know what i'm saying so i was getting like whatever i'm only going to use this on the top of the car because um that's the only place that needs to go down to bare metal what's good grind schoolers it's your boy rob and we back in the shop today um so today we get into it, man. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I just woke up and I'm about to get right on the car, man. Um, I'm going to start on the body work um, and see how far we can get. I got my primer on the way. I don't know when it's gonna get here. I think it's gonna get here sometime this week. So if I can get the body work done um, to a point where um, we can start spraying at least the roof because the roof is gonna be the first thing that we do. Um, we'll go ahead and do that so right now i'm gonna uh probably knock out the hood portion uh with the body filler smooth that out smooth the body filler portions that are, i've already done out and then add the body uh some body filler where um this metal is i might not even need body filler i might wait until after i um go ahead and primer the car up and stuff like that and then um after that we'll just start taking stuff off like the trim the mirrors the you know the spoiler and all that kind of stuff we'll start masking stuff up and then after that you know what i'm saying it'll be ready to spray primer so anyways man um before we jump into the video go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video um like i said i'm gonna go ahead and jump on this car get to it because i want this car to be sprayed up too so you know what i'm saying without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video um I always appreciate all y'all's love, all y'all's support, man, all y'all's comments and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and once again, throw y'all's comments up on the video um, just to show my appreciation, man, uh, for you guys showing love and leaving uh, comments on the video, man. I greatly appreciate it. Um, y'all don't have to do that and y'all do. So I definitely appreciate all the love. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Um, like i said always we are getting this impala together i know a lot of you guys have been waiting a very 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 long time and very patiently and i greatly appreciate that um you know it's sad what happened to it uh and you know i just had to start on the elko in the meantime in between time and i wanted to finish the elko before you know what i'm saying like i jumped back on the impala like the impala was first in line but you know what i'm saying after you know i had started on the elko and stuff like that it eventually went to the wayside and you know now we're back on it so i definitely appreciate everybody that has stuck around for the impala build we are on it and we gonna get it done man um so let's go ahead and get to it all right y'all so like i stated before i was working on this um i'm probably gonna finish this off and get it nice and smooth it's not gonna be perfect um because i still got a body filler and stuff like that but I got these areas um, down the side of the car, all sanded back down and smoothed out. I kind of sprayed a little bit of guy coat um, along the side, got all that stuff done. Um, so right now we are going to go ahead and throw the air, uh, aircraft paint stripper on here um, just to get this going because, I mean, all I gotta do is brush it on and scrape it off. I got my airplane uh, aircraft paint stripper right there. Um, I used that on the El Camino and it worked good on top, but on the side, it was hard to kind of like pour it on the sides. You know what I'm saying? So I was getting like whatever. I'm only going to use this on the top of the car because um, that's the only place that needs to go down to bare metal. Everything else should be good to go, but we're going to use it here um, and then drape the plastic over, wait for it for, I don't know how long it says to wait, but um, yeah, we also got the uh, U-Pole fiberglass like filler or glass filler. So now originally, uh, realistically, I would not want to do this, but we have, as you can see, you know, like a rust hole down here. Um, so pretty much we're gonna have to cut out or, you know, sand all this down, get all this nasty stuff out and we're gonna have to fill that in. Realistically, would I do it that way? No, I would not want to do it that way. 
it's like that on both sides. Um, I do not want to do it that way, but I'm not going to have my car be held up anywhere anymore. And I don't have the skills to weld yet, so this is what we're gonna have to do. Um, down the road, um, if I have any issue, it's nothing to, you know, tape that section off, uh, get that, uh, that cancerous material out of there. Well, that's going to be out of there before I even install the U-Pole or put the U-Pole on there, the glass filler. Um, but I would, uh, cut that section out and then weld some pieces in. When I get those skills, maybe that's what I'll do because it'll be nothing to, you know what I'm saying, blend the paint right there. It's not that big of a deal. Um, plus it's my car, it's not going to the shop. I'm not paying anybody to do what I'm about to do. So it's all good, you know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping on it. Like I said, would I do that in a perfect world? No. If I had access to a shop that could get it done and get me in and out in like a couple of days, just welding that patch in, I would be, you know, over the moon. And I knew that they were going to do it correctly. Then this car would go there get that done and then we will continue. But since I don't know of any shops, I'm sure they're around, but I don't trust anybody. I'm done like putting my stuff in anybody's hands. Then that's what I would do. But since I don't, it is what it is, man. So one day it'll probably get corrected if it starts giving me problems. But right now that's what we gonna, that's how we gonna rock. So I ain't tripping. It is what it is. We gonna get my Impala together and she's gonna come together really quickly. So let me go ahead and throw this uh aircraft paint stripper uh stuff on there i'm gonna just brush it on with a paintbrush i got my paint brushes right here and then uh throw a piece of plastic on top is what you're supposed to do and then after you do that then um you can go ahead and scrape it off with a a putty knife now this stuff you do not want to inhale you do not want to inhale this stuff it's super potent it's super super potent it's like it'll burn your lungs so Definitely gonna use my respirator. Um, it's real hot in here, man, like it always is, but we gonna get to it, man. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, y'all, it's gonna be kind of hard to hear me because I got this respirator on. All we gonna do is just pour. You know what I mean? We gonna pour and we gonna brush. That's it. That's literally it. And then after I'm done brushing this stuff, I'll go ahead and put the plastic on top of it so that we could, uh, it can like start sizzling and bubbling. And we're gonna scrape this right on off of here. So let me go ahead and finish it up and I'll show y'all what it looks like once I put the plastic on there. All right, y'all, we got it covered up with the plastic. So we're gonna wait for it to start bubbling. Paint starts sizzling and popping. Then we'll pull it on up off of there and start scraping it off with a putty knife all right y'all so we're about ready to scrape this off once again i apologize i got this uh respirator on i had a smaller mask on and i took the plastic off and i inhaled a whole bunch of that uh, paint stripper stuff into my mouth uh i didn't swallow it so whatever it's not that big of a deal but you know just goes to show how potent it is but it should be scraping it off i may have to do another round in certain areas certain spots but look at that man it just comes right off man. that's how it's supposed to be stripping it down to bare metal so the reason why i'm doing it like this is so that i don't mess up and uh accidentally uh rip the roof because you can't really replace a roof, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can, but I ain't going to, so I want the roof, it's pretty much a wreck, man. So I'm about to get all this garbage off of here. I'll probably lay some more down in the areas that it needs, and then uh, wait for it to like gunk, gunk up, and then keep scraping, man. So, but yeah, man, it's coming out so easy, way better than sanding, but let me go ahead and scrape the rest of it and then I'll apply some more and then hopefully that'll get it. All right, y'all, and there you have it. It's not as clean, obviously, as I would like. You know what I mean? Um, still got some areas, but I just hit it off with the sander 
it won't be a big deal not a big issue in very few areas but this is the reason why i wanted to take the roof down to bare metal because if i i didn't all of this rusty spots would still be under there so we're gonna go ahead and sand all that out you know what i mean um get all of that out all that cancerous material out of there and we should be good to go man uh so that's done i went ahead and took care of the rest of smoothing the hood out um so i think i pretty much got it pretty good uh, so now we could just 2k over this we'll stuff up the hood and everything else um, Go over the whole car with 180 again um, And then the last area that I got to go over besides the two areas behind the wheel wells or on the quarters behind the wheels um, Is this area right here where the door is? I'm gonna just sand it down make it nice and smooth and I'm gonna take all this primer off of there um, sand it down to bare metal. I'll use my sander for that because this is like really really not that big of a deal Just knock it right out. I won't have layers to go through um, And I'm not really too worried about warping the metal or nothing like that um, And then after that man just hit off all the shiny spots with 180 and she's ready for primer So I mean I've been right I've been grinding man. I've been grinding. I've been grinding. I've been grinding so um, you know this car <clears throat> will come together probably a whole lot well it will come together a whole lot faster than the El Camino so you know what I mean if y'all have been waiting for it man now is her time so um we're we're on it man I'm actively on it I'm gonna grind on it until we done I got my primer already uh ready to or already on the way so once it gets here I'm trying to get the body ready for the primer once it gets here so once I get it, I could just go shoot it, prime it, and then, you know, guide coat. And then when 180 that, that bad boy down, uh, primer it again, a few coats after that, 320 wet sand. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping there's not many areas of imperfection. It doesn't really look like it right now, but you know, we'll see what happens. And then after that, man, it's just paint and clear. And then I'm gonna just cut and buff. I'm not gonna flow coat like I did the L coat. Um, I'm just gonna cut and buff, and this car will be together, man. Uh, like I said, it's not long. It's not long, it's not far off. So um, within the next few weeks, I would anticipate, expect seeing this car painted. Um, I ain't gonna put a whole lot of time frame on it, but within the next few weeks, this car will be painted. You know what I mean? That's my goal. And I'm gonna be grinding on it every day until, you know what I'm saying, it happens, so. But yeah, man, that's, uh, uh, I guess that's gonna really pretty much do it for this video because, you know, um, there's so much more that still has to happen. I just wanted to, you know, cut y'all on, show y'all my day, show y'all what I was doing um, just to get the car, uh, you know, ready for, you know, the primer stage. And this looks a whole lot better sanded down. You know what I'm saying? It looks a whole lot better than it did. Um, I still probably am gonna sand a little bit in the front, um, but I mean, I might even knock that out at the guide coat stage. Uh, I was kind of being a little conservative because I didn't want to start uh, sanding on to the grill, so I'll probably take that off. Um, so I, I, I would expect the next video, we'll probably disassemble everything. We'll fix those areas behind the quarters um, or behind the wheels on the quarters and uh, be ready to prep it for primer, man. Um, and then, yeah, like we'll get everything together. All right, grind schoolers, that's gonna do it for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, that air, airplane paint stripper, man, is real potent. It's very, very potent, and it's very difficult um, to work with if you don't have like a, a respirator. Just one of them little tiny masks, you can't work with that stuff, man. Um, it's very, very potent, and it's not, it's not nice to work with. Um, but if you have a respirator, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? But it takes the paint right off of there. It takes the paint right off of there. So, um, like I said, man, I would expect this car to be together really fast. Um, we don't have that much to do on the car, like I've stated in previous videos and this video. Um, and I'm gonna just keep on working, man. Early mornings, late nights, whatever I gotta do to get it done because, you know, it, it kind of sucks seeing, you know, how gorgeous the Elko looks. And then next to the Impala, which like I stated before, the Impala was on a, a different level, even in its condition than the Elko was. Now the Elko is like, 
top tier compared to the Impala. You know what I mean? I want to get the Impala to that same state. I'm tired of, you know, hanging bumpers and, you know, the corner lights out, hanging wires and 15 different colors and stuff like that. I want this car to be together, like, as if it's my daily driver. We go ahead and slide in this thing. It will be good, man. So, uh, like I said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. I'm almost done with body work already, man. I know I had already did some of the body work like a couple of years ago before this went to the paint shop, but you know, now I'm actively like trying to finish the body work, get it done so we can get it in primer. And then after it's in primer, we'll go ahead and order the paint. Um, Probably, I'll probably order the paint in the next couple of weeks. Um, I won't say that it's gonna be really, really soon, but in the next few weeks, I'll probably order the paint because um, it'll probably take me all week to get all the stuff disassembled, get the body work 100% done, like with the 180, get all the, the glaze spots and all that. It'll probably take me all week to get that done. And then after I get it done, it'll go primer, 180, and then 180 guide coat, um, uh after you know i get the primer on and then after that man it's pretty much smooth selling then we'll do 320 and then the 320 right after the 320 um smoothing all the primer and stuff out and our final guide coat we'll go ahead and spray throw clear on it this thing will be done man so not that many passes around the car um like the elko there was like a ton of passes around this car I probably did like 20 passes around the car with the polyester primer, the epoxy, the 2K, multiple times, the sealer, the color, and then the clear. We're not doing sealer, we're not doing epoxy, we're not doing polyester. So, I mean, there's three three different uh, chemicals that we're not throwing on this Impala. You know what I mean? There's no need for it. So, anyways, man, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, and go ahead and show your boy some love and subscribe to the channel, man, because we be definitely about to dirt up this Impala. We definitely about to get it together and you know down the road it's gonna be top level so you know what i mean um if y'all enjoy that if y'all want to see that go ahead and hit that subscribe button but anyways man without further ado always remember work hard so you can live free